Okay, here's a quick, uh, quick uh, setup for setting the RG Pilot uh, with a six-position switch, or basically, base any 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 system that needs uh, six positions on one output channel. And I've got a blank model that will do that in. I've got a little sticker up here. It's kind of nice of uh, the modes that I set for the RG Copter and the RG Plane. They're slightly different. And here's what I recommend, or here, here's what's worked for me on the Arducopter. Basically, in stabilized mode, that's the default mode when you switch it on, you know, all, all switches forward. And then if you do the three position switch, you go from stabilize, altitude hold, to loiter. All the things you're doing, you know, when there's a human being flying. And then with the switch down, then you've got auto, return to land, and land. You know, all the things that... Uh, when it's flying autonomously. I've got the land set. I've never had to do it, but I was thinking that if I ever in a panic situation and need to get that thing down, I can just uh, push it, you know, pull both switches toward me and it'll land wherever it is. So let's uh, set this up. Basically, we're going to be using a lot of the half mixing. So I uh, look at the, uh, look at the, tor I'll, I'll link the tutorial that talks about what the half does. But basically, when we are going to do that, we're just going to set the source to half. We're going to set the weight to minus 96. And this would be minus 100, but I uh, tested it out, and 90, minus 96 on my setup gave just about perfect centering of the values uh, on the RD pilot. And of course we set the switch that we want the switch to be the aileron. So there's the aileron. Okay, and now what this has given us now is, look at channel 5, we're either at 0, or if we pull the switch, we're at minus 96%. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and use the three position switch, ID 0, 1, and 2, to add values back into that. So we'll either start at a baseline of 0 or start at a baseline of what's well, close to minus 100 and add onto that. So let's come down here and we're going to insert a mix. And what we're going to do is that will be, of course, another half. And it's going to be on switch ID 0, which is the switch in the top position. And we're going to set that to plus 90. So what that's going to give us is when this switch is up here, it's either going to be very high, it's going to be a value of 90 up here, or it's going to be a value of minus 6 down here. So basically, here's the first two of our six positions that we're setting. We've got the ID 0, and we've got a value of 90, and a value of minus 6. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll come back down to channel 5, do an insert, and we're going to do a half on ID 1, and that is going to be a weight of plus 45. see that and now what that's giving us so here's it is when it's an ID 0 you see there it is at uh, 6 and uh, 90 and now if we switch to ID 2 now we've got those second ranges filled in well that'll be that'll be 0 plus 90 minus 45 is a 45 
and this will be minus 96 plus 90, which is minus 6, minus 45, so this will be minus 51. And now just very simply, we go and do the same thing once again. We insert a half setting for ID 3 and we set that value at a plus 17. Okay, and we see there we've got all of that. And if we look at the setting, now that's down and that's going to be at 17, and that's going to be at 90, minus 96 plus 17, so that'll be, what, uh, 80, let's see, 86, 7, uh, 81, something like that. Anyways, check my math, it's probably wrong, but now you can see here we've got a nice smooth transition. We go dot, 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 and I'm going to flip this down and this up. And that's going to continue, dot, dot, dot. Going the other way, low, but basically, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six positions we've got. Again, I experimentally kind of set these. I did a little bit of math and calculated what the range would be. I looked at the at the APM on the radio uh, tuning screen and saw that those were you know pretty well set, and then of course when uh, setting up the APM radio for the for the six positions, you know these seemed to be nice and centered. They were nice and centered so that there were none of them that were close onto the edge of being between two settings. I didn't want any kind of jitter or anything you know affecting you know. You know not that I think jitter would be a problem, but uh, it just seemed like a good luck thing to do to keep those nice and solid in the middle range. Anyways, I'll uh, type this in on the uh, on the uh, instructional page, but that's uh, pretty much how you do it.